hi there we're going to build this uh, you know garden chair and then learn a couple of uh, modeling techniques uh, as we move along all right uh, let's start i'll create a new um project let's delete this cube add a curve a busier curve so this is along um you know um on the floor right now i just want to rotate this one so that it is in the plane of uh, x and z so i'm going to select this curve r to rotate and then x to constraint to x axis and 90. now you have a rotated curve let's go to side view uh, the number one on your keypad numpad and go to edit mode tab into edit mode now I'm trying to create the shape of the uh, um, the leg so let's grab this G to grab and then grab this one and then rotate let's grab this somewhere here and then select this middle part and then press E to extrude and then drag so let's adjust these curves grab all right let's um, grab this and make it small grab it down somewhere here all right at the same time let's add another curve uh, tab out of edit mode let's do that later select this one go to tab mo ed edit mode and now I'm satisfied with the curve uh, let's go to side view again make it little smaller To get the shape of that uh, leg all right tab out of edit mode select the curve and then select these uh, curve properties object data properties for the curve and then scroll down to geometry open up that geometry tab and now under the bevel let's increase the value of depth to maybe point four I should do it all right now let's add another curve so get the cursor somewhere here tab get the cursor to this point shift s cursor to select it and then tap out now I'm going to add another curve add curve bezier curve this is also rotated I need to rotate this one along x-axis 90 now side view and then rotate let's rotate this way and then scale grab scale grab um, scale slightly grab and then put it here so now they are on the same line uh, and then I can apply bevel for that one as well 0.4 let's increase that slightly let's see whether we can see something like a welded together sounds good let's increase a little bit more okay now tab out of it uh, now let's select this and then let's say fill caps 
and then for this one as well fill caps so that will close the end now select this uh, curve go to object um, convert to mesh the same thing for this one object convert to mesh now if you want to keep this one low poly that's fine but if you want to make it more smooth let's add another level of you know subdivision surface for this one uh, go to this apply uh, you know add modifier subdivision surface so now it is smooth do the same thing for this one add a subdivision surface modifier now this is our leg for the uh, um, for the chair okay let's select both of these control J to connect these two okay sounds good select this shift D and then Y okay you have your two legs properly aligned perfectly aligned now go to side view select place your cursor somewhere here and then add a mesh cube scale it now scale along x axis slightly scale x scale z to make it like a you know a plank wood plank go to side view rotate y and then side view again and then grab let it somewhere here rotate y and then grab all right in the side mode and then get into um, edit mode press tab and then select this face face selection mode and then select this face grab Y same thing for this face do not extrude but grab grab Y check whether you have you know equally extending on both side seems like it is and then tab out of edit mode go to side view shift D and then move R Y grab okay that should do it okay let's select one plank and then go to shading um, shading and then click on new let's add another uh, node add node this time I'm getting a diffuse node I need simply color and I want to combine these two colors to combine I need to add a mix shader because I have two shaders I want to mix these two shaders plug it in here and then combine this one with uh, you know connect with this the, the other shader now if you go to uh, material preview you see both you know white of course I need to make it uh, maybe dark brown somewhere here make it dark and then make this one lighter brown lighter than the other one 
and now your color is like the mixture of both those two I simply need to have a like a, a kind of a like a noisy mixture of these two colors so what I want to do here is I want to you know adjust this factor uh, with a noise texture so that you have not a mixture of colors but uh, you know kind of like a pattern of colors of these two so by controlling this factor you can you know make it towards the one color or the other color but I want to have a like a noisy like shape noisy like you know structure texture add a noise texture here and control this factor with noise texture now you have a like a noisy uh, uh, flank now you can change the scaling or you can increase the distortion or you can you know increase the amount of details and now this blank is let's go back to layout and then material preview this blank is too sharp what I want to do here is I want to select all of them all the planks and select all of them tab into edit mode and make sure that you select edge selection mode and press A to select all of them and then control B click on your mouse and then you have your options here and then increase this bevel until you find it is uh, good enough I think 3 it should be good now if you tab out of that edit mode your planks is more like a, you know wood plank because of that bevel alright so let's add some kind of a like um, moss eh? because these are in a in a gar on a garden so it's, it's a is a it has a big chance of getting some you know mosses right so go to shading again select the plank go to shading again this time I'm going to combine let's get it here arrange slightly and then I'm going to create another node that is again a mix order mix shader and then plug it here and then add another diffuse color uh, this time I'm selecting dark green to be like uh, mosses and then connect this one to the other shading input but this time it's going to be a mixture of those Two colors of course but I want to have a uh, you know most like uh, texture what I do here is I add a noise texture again um, noise texture and then connect this factor to this factor wait for the rendering okay it's too much and then let's increase the scaling and details and seems like it's too much let me do one more thing here uh, instead of you know directly plug in this uh, noise texture here I want to you know apply some color ramping here so that I get only a couple of uh, uh, mosses so moss marks right so let's get color ramp and then plug it here now let's adjust our color ramp to be and then scaling details mm, let's adjust the scaling it's 
so that you have a very few here and there okay change this one from linear to um, ease okay that should do it all right Moses okay now let's go back to our layout now this plank has kind of like a, uh, you know uh, something that uh, was outside for a long time so that it gathers mosses and everything now let's select all the other planks select all of them and finally select the one that has that that the, the material assigned and then control L to link materials now you have your chair the planks all have the same uh, you know uh, the material assigned okay let's select this uh, leg and the go to material section new select the black color and then go come down to metallic make it way metallic and then reduce the roughness slightly okay so one thing for this one select the other leg shift select this leg control l material okay this is your chair so if you want to have uh, you know if you want to add some mosses here as well to the uh, leg you can do the same thing as we did for this one uh, you know kind of like arrangement like this combining couple of uh, color shaders diffuse shaders uh, diffuse nodes with uh, noise and a color ramp yeah so that should do it um, yeah that should do it so we can have some variations to this uh, you know um, colors by applying some you know random randomization but I'm not going to go into that one today uh, but this should do it uh, for a garden chair so you can see this one from a distance so that you can use this chair in your you know architectural decorations as well okay that concludes our tutorial then uh, thanks for watching let's meet with another uh, tutorial like this have a good day